Today we're going to be installing these cycle fire auxiliary lights on a 2022 Kawasaki Vulcan S. I already bought the brackets that I'm going to use for the handlebars. Uh, these brackets originally came like this. But uh, we're going to use them like this. And sideways mounted. And I just wanted to show you guys this really cool packaging that these Alpina Cycle Fire lights came in. Um, I was so excited to open these that I opened them in the night. And uh, I said, huh, what's this? And as soon as I turned it on, I was looking directly at it and boom, blinded me for like two whole minutes. Let me show you how bright this is. Look at that. This is bright. That's just one. We'll see what two of them look like later on. I don't know if most of you are aware, but uh, I changed these bars to the Indian Scout and the bars. And uh, I've been having them for about uh, five months now or more. And I have no complaints from them. It's a very comfortable riding position and uh, they look great overall. Now I'll be installing these auxiliary lights and the handlebars actually, they're gonna go uh, right around here I moved the mirror already more outside because there was a gap in the middle here and uh, now it's uh, time to do this one cool thing about the brackets that I bought is uh, they came with uh, this uh, almost like a rubber like insulator uh, to protect the paint right here so uh, I will installed it on this side and uh, now I'm gonna put the bracket on all right this is what I'm working with so far I got so far I just got them mounted up wires are tucked in right alongside all the other wiring not wired up yet I got to get a relay for this uh, motorcycle and uh, also I got to fix these brackets because they're kind of sitting in there kind of loose I really don't like that all right welcome back everybody so now we're getting to the wiring part and uh for my bike the 2022 kawasaki vulcan s we have accessory wiring here one of them is for the fog lights and uh the other one is for the spare so um before i install this relay that i need in order for that wiring to work uh, I'm going to test out the voltage first. mounted up installed thanks to these instructions right here and uh, now we're getting 14 volts uh, that's due to the stator running while the bikes on 
uh, for two of the wire leads right there on the accessories. So that's good. We're gonna start wiring them up right now. All right, guys, we're almost done here. Uh, these are the connectors that I was using. You pretty much just uh, clip on in the end and uh, just connect them together. And that's how the Kawasaki uh, wiring came like. So I was trying to match it as best as I could. And see, they worked really. Uh, they worked out really good. And uh, I added a two amp fuse uh, to both of the lights. Yeah, I ran both of them together into the two amp fuse because uh, I don't think uh, these lights are gonna pull no more than two amps. Probably gonna be like uh, uh, less than an amp. And uh, this bike is. It also says on the service manual or on the owner's manual that uh, the maximum current draw should be uh, no more than 25 watts or uh, two amps so you got to take that into consideration so it won't drain your battery and that's why i like these lights they're really bright and they consume very little uh, energy there you go everything's been put away Hopefully this doesn't get in the way, but uh, taped it as best as I could. And uh, everything's tucked away pretty nice, neatly. Now we're good to put the headlight on and see the finishing results. Just gotta fix these brackets. Look how loose they are. That's not gonna fly, man. Okay, so uh, I'm running out of light, I'm running out of options, and uh, this is my only solution that I could think of right now. Just good old zip ties. If uh, this is not gonna work, I don't know what will. Check this out. As sturdy as a board. My God, I'm so proud of myself. Wow. Check out the neat wiring job. Everything was just ran to spec. Beautiful. Can't wait to test these out at night. Here's the final look of the bike. I had the brackets angled at first, but now I have them parallel to each other. And the reason why I got these brackets is because look how much room there is between the brake master cylinder and the bracket. I also mounted them sideways due to the wiring down here. I wasn't able to have them face down. as well as this side. And then all the wiring has been zip tied, followed with uh, the rest of the wiring. This side as well. All there's left is just to enjoy it and ride it. That's it for me here.